Welcome to Chinese Zero to Hero. This video is part of our course, Path to Fluency, a course where we take students and help them improve to near native level Chinese fluency. It teaches strategies on how to discover topics of interest and provides tips and resources on how to obtain all sorts of authentic Chinese material. In the process, gain profound knowledge on a wide range of subject matter. Again, this video is only a small part of the course. If you want to access the entire course, you can click the link down below or visit our website at ChineseZeroToHero.com. Enjoy the video! Hello and welcome back to Path to Fluency. Now let's focus on setting our goal. Let's figure out exactly where we want to get to. Let's consider the question, what is fluent? Before learning any subject, it's important to first figure out what there is to be learned. For example, when learning mathematics in school, you know that you need to first pass grade 1 math, and then grade 2 math, grade 3 math, and every grade has a higher requirement of math aptitude. For Chinese, it's the same. You need to know exactly where you need to get to, and see that path to your goal. It means being aware of what you already know and what you yet need to learn. This is related to the concept of metacognition, which means the awareness of your own knowledge and thought process. Metacognition in the context of language learning means knowing where your goal is and how far you are in reaching that goal. So what is your Chinese learning goal? A lot of people would answer, I want to be fluent. But what does it mean to be fluent? At the time of recording, if you search for fluent in Chinese on YouTube, you will see the video Mark Zuckerberg speaks fluent Mandarin during Q&A in Beijing listed in the search results. If you listen to him speaking Mandarin, would you say he's actually fluent? Your level of Mandarin is probably better than his, at least at the recording of that video. But obviously, the uploader of the video considered him fluent. Okay, back to our YouTube search. Another result you come across is How I Learned Fluent Mandarin in One Year by Ari in Beijing. This New Yorker's level of Chinese is very impressive. In fact, I think he's one of the most successful Chinese learners out there. If everyone can learn Chinese like Ari, we will be out of business. Our goal is to help more people be as successful as learners like Ari. However, the title says that he learned fluent Mandarin in one year. One year? Again, what is fluent? I'm sure that after one year, he still had much to learn. And if you search for learn language fluently, you'll also see the video How to Learn Any Language in Six Months by Chris Lonsdale. In the video, he stated that he traveled to China in the 1980s and learned Chinese. And this is what he said, quote, I decided that I was going to be native level in Chinese inside two years. What was really cool was that in six months, I was fluent in Mandarin Chinese, and it took a bit longer to get up to native. Well, is that true? Here's a video of Chris Lonsdale sharing his language learning tips to a Chinese audience in Mandarin. You can find the link to the video in the description below. Watch the video. How is his Mandarin? You be the judge. But I personally think it's a stretch to call that fluent, let alone native. Although I do agree that he is an apt learner and a very successful one at that, but he still has some way to go to be considered fluent. Fluency simply takes time. As for myself, I immigrated to Canada in 1998 when I was 14. After going through high school, college, and many years of professional life in Canada, I have developed a high proficiency in English. I took the IELTS test and got an 8.5 out of 9. Despite such proficiency, I would be hesitant to say that I am native, because I'm not. Often, when I try to record a lecture in English, I find myself re-recording the same segment many times because I would make a mistake with grammar or pronunciation. If I were native, like those born in Canadian families, I would never make those mistakes when I speak. All the YouTube videos I mentioned earlier claim that Mark Zuckerberg, Chris Lonsdale, and Ari in Beijing to be speaking Chinese fluently despite the fact that they speak at 
quite different levels, and yet I'm very hesitant to call myself fluent in English. So think for a moment: what exactly is fluent? If you have happened to come across Benny Lewis' book *Fluency in Three Months*, would you trust the claim? His book certainly has many great tips for language learning, and I've personally benefited from the book's suggestions as well. But calling it fluent and achieving it in three months? In reality, achieving real fluency is very difficult, and the experts agree. The U.S. Department of State Foreign Service Institute, or FSI, School Language Studies, or SLS has been teaching languages to U.S. diplomats for 70 years. In their experience, it takes 2,200 hours to learn Chinese, and not to fluency, but to a professional working proficiency, which they call a level three, and they have five levels on their scale. The sheer amount of information you need to absorb and the sheer size of vocabulary you need to acquire. Makes it utterly impossible to accomplish fluency in three months, as Benny Lewis' book suggests. As you can see, people use the term fluency very liberally. Is there a way to set a goal that's a little bit more clearly defined? So, in the next video, let's see if we can give fluency a more precise definition.